everyone, Eric from Bolin Technology. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and configure your Bolin KBD 1010 keyboard IP controller, how to add cameras to the keyboard controller, how to set it up for Visca commands as well as Visca over IP commands and controlling the cameras themselves. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. So we have a couple different ways of powering on the keyboard controller. We have on the back panel here is a 12 volt 4 amp DC uh, power adapter that can get plugged in. There's also an IP port that is here and if you look on the back side of the keyboard controller you can see that everything here is labeled. So we have our IP port here, matches up. We also have our command uh, serial ports. So we have two RS-422 ports as well as a RS-232 port. Let's see there. But we're going to be using the IP port today, which also doubles as a PoE port so we can power on the device. And that's what we're going to be using today. So we'll take our network cable that's here, which is already connected to our PoE switch. And we'll plug that into our IP port right here. Give it a minute for the keyboard to turn on and initialize. Cut here. So now that we have it all powered on, we're going to set up the keyboard controller to work with uh, Visca commands. So to do that, we're going to hit the set up button. It's here. The default password is four zeros. Two, three, four. Right, now I'll bring up this sub menu here. And you can scroll with the left-right directional knob through the, the menus. Uh, first thing we're going to go to is the camera settings. So to select it, we're going to hit the left-right directional knob. We're going to scroll down to the protocol. And you can select the different protocols with the up-down directional knob. So you have a few different ones. There's Pelco D, Pelco P, OnViv, Visca over IP, and Visca. So we'll be using Visca right now to set up for that. If you click on the Visca, you'll be able to see the baud rates and set the different baud rates. You can set the port number, so either using the RS-422 ports or the RS-232 port. Or you will be using the RS-422 port as well as keep the baud rate on the 9600. So once you have that set up, you can exit out. From here, you can change the name of the camera as well. So to change it, if you remember the old Nokia phones, to text on it, you hit the buttons a couple different times to change the letters. So we'll go through. So now we'll just call this one add. We'll leave it on camera one, address it to camera one, and then we can exit out. And you'll get a little plus mark indicating that it is connected to the network. But right now we're not receiving any. It's not able to send any of the communications because we don't have it plugged in yet. So we're going to take our other Ethernet cable here that doubles as our serial connection, which is already connected into the back of the camera. And we're going to add it to the first one of these ports here. We're going to add to the first port here, which is our RS-422 serial connection. All right, now that we have the serial connection, you can see that we have an OK, which lets you know that communication between the device and the keyboard controller has been successful as well as they are on the same network. So now to set up your camera to work on Visco over IP. We're going to disconnect our serial connection cable. We're going to go back into the setup menu. We're going to scroll to the keyboard settings because first we need to set up the keyboard to make sure that it is on the same uh, IP address or same network as our camera. So we're going to go into IP configuration. Uh, we have it set to static right now. Uh, when it's set to static, you can change the, the address numbers. 
So by simply entering in, so if you have like your, if you want to put the keyboard on your normal address, you can do like 192, sorry, 192, 168, dot one, dot, we'll leave it at 15. Subnets will stay the same. You change your default gateway, 169, 254, 1 and then to save you press the left right directional knob and the little plus mark will come up at the bottom here. There's the plus mark there letting you know that it's saved. So we can exit out. And here you can set the Visca IP settings. So we can turn the payload header on, which works for Sony cameras. So please refer to your camera user guide if it will accept if your camera takes a Sony block uh, and you would need to have that turned on or not. You can also change the port numbers. We'll leave it at 253.81, exit out. And then to add the cameras, we have two ways of adding cameras. You can go to the camera, we'll go to number two. We have this already set to Visca IP. If it's not, just scroll to Visca IP. You can select it. You can change, manually change the address itself by the same way by just entering in the numbers. But we'll leave this as the same right now as it's set to DHCP. So exit out, exit out. Option number two to finding your, uh, your cameras on the network, you hit the search button. We'll select Visca IP. Start search, yes. It'll search. And it'll pull up all the cameras that are available on the network that you can use. And then you can select the camera, change the ID of where you want it to be. You can also name it. give you an OK and a plus marker letting you know that the connections were successful and they can communicate together and you have full control over the camera. Speed, so we'll turn the pan tilt speed down and you can see that it's just very slowly slowly moving a little bit more there you go so we're so nice and smooth we do the same thing with the zoom you also have access to the camera systems OSD menu. If you press the menu button that's here, it will pull up the camera's OSD menu. You can scroll through with the jog wheel. You still have full control over the exposure. You can set it to manual or auto. Same thing with the focus, auto or manual. Change the white balance, leave that on auto or not, or one push white balance. The jog wheel here works as well to zoom in and out. So there you have it. We showed you how to add cameras to your Bolin KVD 1010 IP keyboard controller. We showed you how to configure the IP addresses to so make sure that everything is on the same network together and can communicate. We also showed you how to control the cameras using either the Visca or Visca over IP settings. Please feel free to check out our website for more in-depth knowledge, user guides, tech specs on any of the products that you see here today. Thank you so much for watching.